This is how to make bleach with calcium hypochlorite crystals. I recently found out that the bleach you buy at the store has a shelf life of about one year. And I also found out you can make your own bleach using a granular powder. And there's a bunch of different information on the internet. And I found the best place was the government EPA website, Emergency Disinfection of Drinking Water. So I printed this out and laminated it. Basically just goes through saying you should have bottled water and then to disinfect water you can boil it, use household bleach like this, and then it goes into this hypochlorite and it's a powder substance that basically has an unlimited shelf life. And it gives you mixtures that you're supposed to do. And I made this other little laminated instruction sheet. So now I'm gonna make a batch of bleach. I've taken an old bleach jug, kind of wrote down what I'm supposed to do. So I filled the bottle up about halfway with water. There's really not much smell to it. Just a little bleach smell. And it, it does kind of smell like a swimming pool, like the fresh bleachy water of a swimming pool. I bought my calcium hypochlorite on Amazon from a chemical supply company. Some people use pool shock. And when I researched the pool shock, you couldn't really see exactly what the ingredients were. That's why I bought this because it's 99% pure. I'll have a link in the description and comments. I scoop half of a heaping teaspoon. Well, there's like static electricity or something. Pour it into the bleach water. Seal it up and shake the jug. Fill it up the rest of the way with water. It does have like a bleach, regular Clorox bleach smell. So now I should have bleach solution. It does seem to work like regular bleach. You can see the color disappeared on this fabric. So let's pretend some disaster happens and the electricity has gone down for two months. I've exhausted all my bottled water. Now I need to make my own purified drinking water. I'll grab my instruction sheets, my freshly made jug of bleach, a measuring cup and a five gallon clean bucket. Then I got a bunch of coffee filters and also this strainer type coffee filter. I'll take one of the paper coffee filters, put it inside this metal strainer coffee filter. And I would use either this creek water or the water from my rain barrels. And I've got my rain barrel set up here. And I'll take this little strainer, I'll put it on top of the faucet. to filter out any of the larger silt, dirt particles. And this is a five gallon bucket. And I've got it marked, I'm only gonna fill it up to four gallons. 
so it's easy to carry and move around. It's filtered out all the larger debris and dirt particles. According to my instructions, I measure out two-thirds of a cup of the bleach solution. I pour it into the water and stir it. According to the instructions, it says you should let it stand for a few hours. But what I would do is let it stand a day because the chlorine kills everything in the water and then it evaporates. So if you wait a day or two, the water won't have a chlorine taste and it'll be easier to drink. And before drinking the water, I would always run it through my Berkey water filter. And this will filter out any remaining particles. I'm also going to do an update on how I maintain my water supply. Every two or three years, I'll wash the jugs and refill them with fresh water. I fill this little dropper bottle with chlorine bleach. Since all this water is coming from my house, well water, which is drinkable, I add about five drops in each jug. And that should be good to prevent algae growth for the next few years. I have some scrap linoleum that I'm gonna use to place under the water jugs. And this is supposed to protect the water because in my last video, I must have had a hundred comments and they saying that you're not supposed to put water jugs directly on the concrete because chemicals, something like the lime or something will leach into the water. So I'm hoping this linoleum will protect it. Let me know. If, the, if you don't think the linoleum will work, I could always cut some thin sheets of plywood underneath there. But I prefer the linoleum because it's thinner and it's, I don't know, it's waterproof and it kind of looks better. And I do the same thing with these juice jugs. As I, after I finish the juice, I pull off the label, put a drop of dishwashing liquid inside. Wash, rinse, and drain the jugs. Add about five drops of the chlorine bleach. And I put them down here. And in two or three years, I'll pull these out and replace with fresh water. So what I learned while making this video is you only buy enough liquid bleach to last one year. So really, I only buy one jug at a time. And then you buy a bunch of this. I would guess these two bottles would last at least five years. I'll probably buy more, like four more jugs and then I would pretty much guarantee that I have a lifetime supply. And then you can make your own bleach at any time. 